Tulsi Gabbard is a former presidential candidate and former congresswoman of Hawaii. So Tulsi, the, the, it takes some gall to, to tell Americans we're going to create a, a new new world order after the last one, globalization, <laughs> wrecked our jobs and kind of was responsible for the rise of China. Do you think he's going to get away with this? Uh, well, well, Jesse, I think it's important that we look at what's happening right in front of us, right? I mean, uh, I, I, when I look at these issues, when I look at policies, I, I look at it by thinking of what is actually going to improve the lives of the American people, what will make their lives better, more secure, more prosperous, more fulfilled. And unfortunately, what we've seen is that President Biden isn't doing that. He should be focused on his job as president of the United States of America and actually solving the problems that we're facing here, securing the border, making our communities more safe, improving education, strengthening our economy by supporting small business. There are a lot of problems, unfortunately, that need to be fixed. That's where he should be focused. But instead, as we've seen, he seems to be more focused on trying to be president of the world. And along with the power elite of America, taking this missionary zeal to say, you know what, we're, we're going to set aside the problems that the American people are facing and instead focus on saving the world by spreading democracy everywhere. It's just a bigger version of, of Obama's Arab Spring, where he took his kind of messianic attitude towards trying to save the Middle East by spreading democracy, but really just left destruction, suffering and death in his wake. And, and the American people paid a very, very heavy uh, price for that. It's about humility, isn't it, Tulsi? It's about recognizing that the American president can't just shape the world however he wants. And part of being intelligent is kind of knowing your limitations. Do you think Joe Biden knows his limitations or... Do you think he's so arrogant that he think he's just going to, you know, create a new world order with global alliances that will be run out of Washington and Brussels like usual? Well, central to that humility, Jesse, is first and foremost recognizing you're not God. You are not in control. And if you try to pretend that you are, what will result, even with good intentions, what will result, unfortunately, is more suffering, more hardship for the people in the world that supposedly he's trying to save, but also for the American people. Because Joe Biden's already told us, hey, freedom is not free. You, the American people, are going to pay the price. Uh, and that's exact, that, that is exactly what we will see play out if he continues to think that he is and can be somehow the controller of all people and all things in this world. I mean, he can barely even control himself, let alone the entire world. Tulsi Gabbard, thank you so much for your analysis. Thanks, Jesse. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.